ever had one of those days when nothing seemed to go right? You know what I'm talking about. Can't find the right shoes, forgot an important test, best friend missed your birthday, the ATM ran out of money. Wait a minute. Did the ATM run out or was that your bank account? Money management is one of the toughest parts of the transition into college. And those discounts on Amazon Prime don't help anything. It's so easy to click to purchase that pair of shoes, to go to a movie, or order takeout. But the last thing you want to do is make that call to the bank of mom and dad, right? And a little hint, we don't want that call either. So here are just a few tips that you can use to make sure you never have to make that call. Create a budget and stick to it. Open a checking account for that spending and don't ever borrow from your savings account unless absolutely critical. That savings account is there for your future or to help out on a rainy day. Of course, if you're going to school in Seattle, you may want to slate that savings for a sunny day or your account will be at zero before you know it. If you are using a credit card, always, always, always pay off the balance at the end of the month. If you are carrying a balance, you're handing the bank your hard-earned money and that balance will continue to grow month after month after month, even without another purchase. If you can't pay it off at the end of the month, you probably don't need it. And when it comes to credit cards, don't ever, ever, ever miss a payment. Remember how excited you were to find that shirt that was $25 in the mall and you found it for $15 online? Well, a late payment charge means you just paid $40. Okay, okay, enough about finances. Let's talk about your room. Have you ever heard your parents say, look at this room? Well, it's time to get the point. A well-organized and clean space is key to good, successful study. And your roommate is not going to want to clean up your mess. Believe it or not, this might be a tough transition, just ask my kid. So here are just a few tips that you can use to make sure that your space is organized and you are ready to go. Your room at school is probably smaller than the one you're in now, and you're going to be sharing with a roommate. So start practicing those organizational skills now so that you'll be able to find those important things later and not drive your roommate crazy. Time management is perhaps the most important part of the transition to college. You're going to have assignments, activities, clubs, things that will take up your time. So learning how to prioritize that time is very important. Time management means managing that homework too. There's nothing worse than pulling an all-nighter cramming in that last minute homework before you even have time to review for that next exam. Wouldn't you rather be doing something else? Before you head off to school, try getting in the habit of organizing everything you do. That way, when it comes time to managing all of those tasks, you're ready to go. These tips can really help you gain responsibility and make that transition from high school to college easier. For more great tips, visit our five ways to get ready for college article by clicking the link below. Good luck.